How to start a thread. Decide where you want to post your new thread. Make sure it's a form that matches the topic you want to post about. Right now we will post under the Say Hello form because it's your first post. The thread prefixes are optional. You don't need to use them, but it might get your thread more attention. Be sure to use a descriptive title, but remember you have a character limit of 85 characters. The post box can be resized in most browsers if you need it bigger. There is a minimum character limit on posts. You must at least type 10 characters. Here's how you attach an image. Just as an example, I will use Homer. Smileys can be used from the side. Use the More button to get more smileys. Post icons are displayed on thread lists next to the title of the thread and can give more emphasis to the thread. It's an option and you do not need to use them. Tags are also optional. Please do not use the hash sign here. Tags help fill out the tag cloud for easier searches. Click or tap here to submit your thread. And there you have it, a simple say hello thread. You can now view your thread and it is publicly viewable by anybody. There is a time limit on how long you can edit a thread. If you make a mistake and the time has expired, just reply with the corrections. Advanced Edit gives you the full editor like when you started the thread. Saving changes will save your edits and make the changes public. On a mobile device, it works pretty much the same. Add your files and choose where they're coming from. In this case, we will use the camera. Make sure the picture is checked off and tap Insert Inline. When it changes to a zero, you know it has been inserted. Now tap Done. Type a quick message. And the same thing, tap Submit New Thread. Now it's complete and publicly viewable by anybody. Clicking and tapping on the picture will display it larger, so you can see it in full screen. This is how everybody will see it. And that's the end of the How to Start a Thread tutorial.